Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world. Nigerians are not feeling the impact of his administration. Richard Okorocha cries out, says... Buhari must be determined to fire tired legs. The immediate past governor of Imo State and senator representing Imo West, Senator Rochas Okorucha, has called on President Muhammad Buhari to take firm action against appointed officials, not meeting up to public expectations in his government. He gave the charge on Monday while playing host to members of the Integrity Group, comprising the Non-National Working Committee and National Executive Committee members of the All Progressive Congress, the APC. The former Imo State Governor, who claimed that certain individuals holding sensitive positions in the present administration we are frustrating the genuine efforts of President Buhari to deliver dividends of democracy maintained that ordinary Nigerians would not feel the impact of his administration until he weeds out the dead woods. He said, I must say here that what works in most developed countries is higher and fire, which brings discipline in the system. There is nothing as bad as persons who occupy government positions and are not working but are kept for sentiment basis. They should be fired to create room for those who can perform. There is nobody on earth who is Alpha and Omega. If you can't do the job, be sure that someone can do it. We no longer have what I term as a collective responsibility. Rather, we have selfish responsibility. We are leaders are busy thinking about the next election and what positions they can occupy instead of thinking about the dividends of democracy as it should affect the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Senator Okorocha also faulted the reward system of the APC, which he dismissed as defective. He argued that those who worked for the success of the party that is, the APC have since been stripped of party patronage, while those empowered have isolated genuine party faithful. We therefore come, we therefore come back to the root of the problem in our party because the very people who worked for the success of the party are the ones that have been neglected. Rather, those who came yesterday have taken over. This is why there is no, this is why there is so much anger from the world level to the national. Those who have been empowered have refused to empower others from the world to the national level. The issue of empowerment is empowering one person so that he can empower others. But those who have been empowered now have new friends and neglected the foot soldiers. And at the end of the day, it is President Muhammad Buhari that takes the brunt. This is why I advise that we go back to the drawing board. And some of these laudable projects should be extended to the party. 
I do not see any world chairman and his 26 members who cannot farm under the anchor borrower program. So the policies of our government are just hanging and do not get to the grassroots. Owners of our party are not participating in the running of the party. Appraising the performance of the party in the recent governorship election in Edo State, Senator Okorocha said the dwindling fortunes of the ruling party should be a cause of concern to its members. What is wrong has become right. But until we address that, we continue to grope in the dark. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. Things can still be made right. It is not the best of news that we lost a dual state. A national party like APC has no presence in the South South. It is sad news. But we must make a sacrifice to make the party grow. Earlier in his remarks, leader of the integrity group, Sadiq Abubakar, said, The group has been engaging in consultations with party leaders to seek their views on how to reshape the APC ahead of the next general elections. Our task is to identify what we have done well and look at things we haven't done well. That is why we are conducting leaders like you. Abu Bakr restated concern over the alienation of ordinary APC faithful from party patronage. So many people have to be compensated there are so many appointments and they must be integrated. For APC to remain in power beyond 2023, those in leadership positions must look at how to support our people. They need to do more, he said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Buhari must be determined to fire tired legs, says Nigerians are not feeling the impact of his administration. Well, it is what it is. Is he just getting to know this, that Nigerians are not feeling the impact of his administration? Does the president even know this? Is Rochas Okorocha just getting to know this? If not, then who will bring it to the attention of the president? It is sad and unfortunate that this is the level that we are. Who will deliver Nigeria from the hands of President Muhammad Buhari and the APC as it were? Well, guys, I stand to be corrected, but we do not have a good leadership in the country. The way and manner at which Nigeria has been ruled, led, um, governed over the past five years or so leaves nothing to be uh, appreciable about or leaves nothing to be happy about. Because instead of um, providing succor to the people, instead of uh, uh, giving grace, Nigerians have suffered without a government feeling or sharing their pain and it is sad and unfortunate it shouldn't have been like that i stand to be corrected guys but what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story will the president get the true reaction of the nigerian people even at the grassroots well we'll keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold those who are sharing information with the president must have been telling him something else apart from the reality. But it is what it is. Drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. 
Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I will see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.